Hello and welcome to today's smooth review. My name is Joanny. If you are new here, welcome. On today's review, I'll be reviewing Bullet Train, which is available on Netflix. It stars Brad Pitt. And it also has a Bad Bunny who is making his debut, his film debut. Bad Bunny was announced to be uh, doing a Marvel film. He's supposed to be the first Latino Marvel superhero. Uh, I forgot the name of the movie he's going to do, but apparently that's a thing that he's doing. And I wanted to see if he was going, if he's how good of an actor he is. He had a quick cameo. His role wasn't that big, but he did a good job. He plays a Mexican warlord, a Mexican uh, cartel leader. He did okay for his first time. He still needs some acting lessons, I think. It wasn't that believable that he was Mexican. He still sounded Puerto Rican to me, <laughs> but uh, he did a good job for the quick scenes that he did. Bullet Train uh, is about these five assassins who find themselves in a bullet train in Tokyo going to Kyoto. Kyoto, I think, is the city was the last stop on the bullet train. Uh, and they were sent there by uh, a guy named the White Death. That's his like codename. So they all had different assignments, I guess. But the ultimate goal that the White Death was trying to accomplish was for them to kill each other. But at the end, they kind of, the few that are left alive band together and defeat the White Death. I thought this one was really good. It was fun. Um, I like, I love action films and this was full of action. My two favorite characters were Lemon and Tangerine, these twin brothers who are not really twins. One is uh, Caucasian and the other one is African American. They're both from, I believe, they're both British, so they grew up together and they became brothers and started working as assassins. So they're like a really badass team. Um, so they were really fun. They were really funny, I mean. I think they were the best part of the movie. Brad Pitt was in the movie. He was, it was mostly surround. It was mostly about. I feel like Tangerine and Lemon and Tangerine because they were trying to find this suitcase that they were supposed to deliver to the White Death along with his son, who is later killed in the bullet train. So they're trying to figure out who who did it and who stole their suitcase. Uh, they were really great. The two actors that play the Lemon and Tangerine are Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. I feel like I've seen Brian Tyree someplace else. Let me see where. Oh, he was in Spider Man. In, into the. Boy, who did he play? He was in Spider Man and then he was in Widows, which was a good film. I remember watching the, uh, he's in Atlanta. Oh, that's where I know him from. I was wondering, like, where do I know this guy from? He's in Atlanta, the TV show. Um, I really enjoy this film. Like I said, the cinematography was really great. I love the Tokyo back uh, backdrop. Uh, there's another film that I watch on Netflix, which is set in Tokyo, Kate. That one was a really good film as well. Uh, but it was a really fun and entertaining film. Uh, there's a lot of cameos from celebrities like uh, Shannon Tatum shows up. He has like a minor role and like a piece of passenger. And at the end, Sandra Bullock shows up and um, Brian, no, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, he has a quick cameo. He doesn't even have uh, lines. Uh, so the whole premise, well, um, what's his name? Brad Pitt is an assassin who takes on a job that uh, Ryan Reynolds' character was supposed to be on, but he called out sick, and so um, Brad Pitt takes the job instead. So the White Death hired these five assassins, put them in this train because they're all connected to the murder of his wife. Well, yeah, the murder of his wife and the guy that hit his. Uh, his wife died in a hit and run and the person that killed his wife was Ryan Reynolds' character. But he wasn't even in the movie. He's just like mentioned until like they show a clip of who he is. So Brad Pitt goes through this whole two hour thing of fight, fighting everyone, trying to get out alive. 
and he wasn't even supposed to be a part of this. If you're looking for an action film to watch, I thought this was a great one. I would give it a three stars out of five. I'll definitely watch it again. And I hope they give Lemon and Tangerine their own movie, like a prequel, because they were really good. I felt like they were the best part of this movie. And there's this actress that I usually don't like her work, Joy King. She plays the daughter of the White Death, uh, who's trying to kill him. And she's in this train as well, uh, creating mayhem. She stole the suitcase from Brad Pitt. And I thought she did really good in this film. Usually I don't like her work. I've seen some of her previous films and don't really, I never thought she was that entertaining <laughs> or that good. But in here she was really good and I was surprised. So Bullet Train was three stars out of five. Uh, Bad Bunny still needs some acting lessons. It was nice to see him in this film. He, was, he wasn't bad. But he could have he could have been better. Uh, so I hope he he's getting the training that he's going to need for a Marvel film. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Comment down below if you've seen Bullet Train. It came out a while ago, but it's oh, not a while ago. A few months ago, it was in theaters, but it just premiered on Netflix on the third two days ago. So uh, go watch it, come back here and tell me your thoughts if you liked it, if you didn't, if it was worth your time. And if, it, if Bad Bunny was even good, he was okay to me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week and I hope you can come back next week for my next one. Till next time.